Wham, bam, the crafty call is back, man. I'm Josh. This is CC. CC. The Cindy the Chemist. Today, we are at Strange Roots Brewery Company in Millville, PA. What do you have to say about this establishment? Um, it's pretty unique. It used to be called Dry Log, and they uh, specifically brewed sours. Um, but now they changed their name to Strange Roots Experimental Ales, and they brew a bunch of other stuff besides uh, sours. So, um, It'll be quite cool to see what else they have going on. I'm interested in myself as well. Uh, this place is kind of busy, so I had the opportunity to park on the sidewalk because the crafty <laughs> cult don't give a fuck. <laughs> and I got another question for you. Who the fuck is thirsty? I am. Are you? Uh, maybe. Let's go see what this place has to offer us. And wet my whistle. Let's go. <laughs> Millville, PA. It's also Mil yeah, Millville, PA, Ohio Street. Correct. And uh, we're going to talk about the beers and the selections that we happen to get here today. Why don't you enlighten everybody out there exactly what you happen to get? All right. Well, I'm on an adventure trip today. So I decided to go with the uh, Concord Grape. Um, it's actually a typical sour made with Concord grapes. And. Really? Um, not like jelly, just grapes, Concord grape jelly? No, just grapes. It's uh, okay. very nice. You can't, yeah, there you go. It's like clear red. Okay. Looks like a little burgundy. Smells just like grapes on the nose. Okay. It's a little sour, but not a typical, it, it, this is great. It's like drinking grape juice. Oh. Like is, drinking what? Grape juice? Yeah. Like, Welch's grape juice. <laughs> interesting, interesting. It's awesome. I really enjoy it. And if, um, we're going to go right to the ratings right here. And um, I'm always generous. I don't know what's up with this dude, but. I don't like beer. Give it a five. Five. This All right, good. so here I go. I'm going to try this as well. <laughs> as you can see, you can tell the dark color of it is a little burgundy. Not a problem with that. I don't mind. It does smell like a lot of fruitiness, a lot of great, definitely flavor coming from this for sure. And I'll go in for the taste, guys. Whoa. That's good. Very sour, very bitter at the end of the taste. But if you're a real Catholic and you ain't got communion and they go, hell, this. The body of Christ, the blood of Christ. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is what it tastes like. I swear to you, this is exactly yes. what it kind of tastes like. Yes. It sounded just like that. Yes. If you like that, if you want to be a good altar boy, come on down here and get a drink of this. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> but uh, it is, it, it's a very it's, smooth taste. Oh, it's so smooth. And it's, yeah. it's eight and a half percent. Oh, wow. I didn't it's know that alcohol. It's a high alcohol. You can't taste it yeah, at I, all. Yeah, so to me, that that's astonishing to me as well. As you know, I like the high alcohol, alcohol volume, and I like to see how it tastes and then the mixture of the blends of it. And for me, this is a great blend. Like I said, uh, confess your sins for being here because uh, <laughs> this is it. I would give this about a 4.3. Oh, that's like the highest rate you gave something. Well, no, 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 no. I, I, I like the coconut beer that I had, that stout that I had. It was very delicious as well. Uh, but this is very, it's up there as well with the balance of the, the high alcohol content, but also the flavor as well. And then the fruit flavor as well. It's not overpowering, but it's very, very tasty as well. And you can definitely taste a great flavor in it which is a, a good thing for me because if you don't like beer, but you still want to have the effect of getting a little, a little buzz on before you go out to the world, this will definitely have the opportunity to do it. And I could drink a couple of these. I wouldn't just oh, drink yeah. one. So the, the very little carbonation in it, it yeah. goes down pretty easy. Yeah. So as you can see the logos above us, where we are, where we're drinking today, and uh, we'll continue on. And I'll continue with my purchase and my selection as well. I have a beer here they call the Zoink. Uh, this is something that is fermented in orange, 
uh, peel is supposed to taste like a creamsicle, they say. It is made with amarettos as well, and it is a it is a IPA beer. So let's I'm go. excited about this. An have, orange creamsicle, it sounds delicious. I, I have no clue what it is. I'm definitely <laughs> going to try it and see what it does for me. Uh, we'll go ahead with the look as well. As you can see the filtration system, we compare it between this one and what she got. Oh, wait a minute. Well, what I got, what she got, I, her, her, I. You can see the difference in color. We we'll go ahead and give it a smell. It smells a little hoppy. I don't really smell too much orange or anything like that. I got already amaretto's like it says it has. But the alcohol volume on it is pretty high as well. It's in the 8% too. So that's why I got it. <laughs> no, I don't care about the taste. Just give me the more. Let's go hey, with the taste, hey, but, it, but it's, no, it's no loco. It's not like a loaf. You know, those loaves are fourteen like percent, and it oh, they're so strong and good. Anyways, cheers, everyone! I tell them go in. <clears throat> so, it's an interesting fact what they're doing with this uh, with this beer, because as I smelled it, it smelled very hoppy. I thought it was going to be bitter. Somewhat like the grape. I was totally surprised it's not sweet, has a great flavor to it, great aftertaste as well. If I was to rate this, I would go three seven, three eight, maybe a four. I'll go four. I, I, I'll give it a four. I mean it does taste like an orange creamsicle. I get that. Yeah. It, it has a little more hops than I was expecting. Okay. Um, I thought it was going to be more than that. Right. But the fact that you taste a creamsicle... It's cool. I, but see, I don't like it. it. It's like the dairy factor. I don't want dairy in my beer, like milk. Uh -huh. So, I'm not feeling it. Well, you know, I don't like a lot of dairy as well in my diet or in my beer, but I like to drink milk from the top, as we all know. And uh, for me... It's not a bad. It's not a bad beer. Uh, I would. I would get one or two of these. It's because it's hoppy, but it's not overpowering the flavor of the beer. The more you drink, the better it gets. And yeah. I don't believe there's dairy in it. Uh, I think what I'm getting uh, there's orange sherbet in it and uh -huh. also marshmallows. I that think is that's true. what I'm getting. I get that as well. A little bit as well. It's a great flavor. Yeah, Stay actually, tuned. the more you drink, the better it gets. But um, yeah, what's your rating? I, well, with the grape. I gave the Concord a five. I'm gonna give um, the Zoinks. Okay. Quattro. That's about the same as what I did. <laughs> so uh, stay tuned, guys. We're gonna go ahead and get the next one going up and get the next two here. The next beer we're gonna get. Stay tuned. We're still thirsty, guys. Hey, cheers. Bang, bang, I'm back. It's Josh, my friend. And we are still at the Strange Roots Brewing Company here in Millville, PA. Uh, I got my second selection today. My second selection is going to be... Oh, sorry. That's CC's selection, that's not mine. I'm trying to get <laughs> mine done. My selection is gonna be the Thief Shell. It's gonna be 8.9% alcohol ball. That's what it looks like. Very dark in color. Um, drastically different than the beer I tried, tried before. Uh, the alcohol, like I said, volume content on here is about 8.9, as you guys all know. I like to have the opportunity to try a strong beer to see the differential between the alcohol volume and to see how it's blended together. But also, as you guys know, I don't even like beer. I'm just here because my boss sucks. I hate my fucking job. And I'm trying to get fucked up to forget about the bullshit he put me through all week. So, cheers. No, he's here to learn from CC. Yeah, I'm also here to learn from CC about how good all this stuff is. Yes. So, first of all, we're going to take a look at the look. Very dark in color, as you already know, and already said to you. Give it a slant. Doesn't smell hoppy at all, but definitely smells like it has a little bit of a cider to it. I'm not really sure of that. 
We'll go ahead and get it in a taste. So the beer itself is drastically different than the beer I just I just had from here as well. Uh, the last beer I had had the cream, orange cold flavor to it, uh, a little hoppy. This one is definitely different, very bitter, very sour. Uh, I didn't care about that. I was just trying to care about how strong it was because I was waiting to just forget about everything that happened this week, to be honest with you. But anyways, it's bitter. It's not that bad. It's fruity. Uh, I would drink probably one of these and move on to the next. So for me, I give this about a 2.2 from 5. I appreciate the effort that you guys did for this. Uh, the flavor is good. It's just not for me. And uh, we'll see what CC thinks about this whole thing going on here at Strange Roots. I mean, it smells like a sour beer. Uh-huh. Uh, color is dark, but very transparent, as you can see. It's lighter okay. with the light shining through. <laughs> see what I mean? <laughs> it wasn't just me, guys. Well, for being like a barrel-aged brown ale, it tastes nothing like that. Um, okay. It tastes like a sour beer, and I'm not a big sour fan. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this like a two and a half. Okay, so we're, we're about we're rather we're around the yeah. same range on this aspect. I guess she doesn't like sour beer. Like I don't like sour beer, but if it was a four loco lemon flavor <laughs> lime and juice margarita for sure, fourteen percent. Anyways, I just wanted a little spill. Sorry about that, guys. Hey, what did your selection get? Um, I got um, the bourbon one. Oh. Um, it's supposed to be similar to what he has. Um, and it's aged in bourbon barrels. It's supposed to have taste of cotton candy. Uh, what the hell else is it supposed to uh, have it a taste of? It said it tastes like leather. That's what I heard. Cherry, leather, <laughs> cotton candy, uh, all over the board. So we'll see. Okay. And this is a this has been brewed in bourbon barrels. Uh, yeah, and it's like 8.9%. Uh, very high ABV. Okay. Uh, smells kind of like a cherry sour. Tastes exactly like his. Really? Yeah. I hope not. Yeah. Uh, not digging it. Um, so if you just, had to rate this between 1.5, what would you think? Giving it two and a half. Hey, Strange Roots. Let's go, guys. Come on now. I'm passing this along to me. As we see right here, the dark color is definitely dark, just like the other one I had. This is a little bit lighter than this one. Maybe it's because the light is piercing through it, but I don't oh, really no, know. Oh, no, they taste the same to me. Really? Yeah. I'm hoping this is definitely different than this one. I, I like the flavor to that. Too sour for me. Uh, like I said, the look is a little different, but with the smell. Kind of kind of similar to the last. Kind of similar to the last. And for the taste. <laughs> yep. It's the sour face. We both give him two and a half sour faces. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. What I can say about that one to the differential between the thief, the one that I happen to get is, the sour taste to hers very much lingers a lot longer than the one that I have. It has uh, the yeasty funk. When I was a young kid, I used to love lemon heads. They were delicious candy. Then when you get into it, it was so sour. Leather heads? Lemon heads. Le <laughs> not leather heads, lemon heads. <laughs> and this is kind of the same thing. It's very tart, very bitter, uh, but, and it lingers on. So for me, I can only probably do what I could do right here. I hope it's just a half a glass. Hey guys, if you like sour beers, apparently this is the spot. It is. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of sour beers, but I, I was really impressed with the first beer that I tried. Me too, me too. Uh, the second selection that I got, maybe it was just me. Maybe I had the opportunity to select the wrong beer. But please, don't let us yeah. steer you away from coming to here to get a great think. cool drink. Yeah. You know, Strange Roots has a, a wide variety of flavors of, for different people of all different uh, taste buds on your palate. 
So make sure you come here to Strange Roots, try this out. For me, that beer right there is about a 2.5 for me. I don't think I'm gonna drink more than one of that. That would be it. I'll be on my way to the next one. Uh, I'm really trying to find somebody that has the opportunity to have a strong, high alcohol volume, but the flavor is very plentiful and well balanced. I love Four Locos. They're 14%. They're they not you. beer. They're not beer. They're like malt liquor. The malt liquor I'm fine with. Come on, guys. Comment below. Get this guy to like some craft beer. So either comment, share, subscribe. Make sure you guys like our page. And make sure you guys understand that, you know, we're here thirsty every day. And we're trying to make sure you guys are thirsty as well. But also, we're trying to guide you in the right direction to get the good, best beer in the city of any city that we're at. Stay thirsty, my friends. Cheers. We got this. And we're trying to get this for you.